Class A pre-trip. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the posture of the vehicle. It's not leaning. If it were leaning, it would be due to a suspension problem, shift in cargo, or a flat tire. From this point, you're going to look underneath the vehicle for any leaks or puddles. You're looking for engine oil, coolant, or power steering fluid. I don't see any leaks. Go up to the bumper. The bumper's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. Go to your license plate. License plate's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. If it wasn't a permanent plate, if it was not a permanent plate, we'd say it's current and up to date. This is permanent. We're going to go up to the grill. The grill is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present, no obstructions. Go to your headlights and turn signals. You're going to check both sides. It's not cracked, chipped, or broken. It's clean, clear in color, no condensation. Turn signal. Check both sides. Amber in color, not cracked, chipped, or broken. Clean, no condensation. Uh, we can see screws there, so all screws are present. Okay, from this point, you're going to go up to your spot mirror bracket. My spot mirror bracket is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. Go up to your spot mirror. You're going to check both sides on the brackets and the mirrors. Uh, the mirror is not cracked, chipped, or broken, and it's clean. Okay, from this point, we're going to go up to our wiper arms. Our wiper arms are not cracked, bent, or broken. It's secured to the vehicle. We'll check our blades on the inside. We're going to check our windshield. Our windshield is not cracked, chipped, or broken, and it's clean. We're going to check the rubber seal along the edge of the windshield. The rubber seal right here around the edge. It's not cracked, dry routed, or broken, and I'll check for leaks during the in cab inspection. We're going to check our inspection sticker. It's current and up to date. With no illegal stickers on our windshield. We're going to go up top to our lights, our three ID lights, and our two clearance. Now, the three IDs are the three that's grouped in the center. The clearance are going to be on the outside. And you can group these together and say they're not cracked, chipped, or broken, clean, no condensation, and amber in color. Okay, from this point, you're done with the front of your vehicle, you're going to go around to the side, driver's side. And you're going to start with your hub oil seal. Okay, at this point, you can also open the hood. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you want to check the function of the lights as well. And they're not so you're going to do broken, that before you even start with the posture of your vehicle, uh, just to get that out of the way. Okay, now you have to find the uh, metal valve stem and metal cap, camera, which say, is right here. This point. Okay, uh, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. I hear no leaks, and I'll check my tire pressure daily with a tire gauge or a rubber mallet. Now we're going to check our tires from this point. We're going to check our tires. We're going to check the outer, upper, inner walls of our tire. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. These are no less than 430 seconds of uh, tread in the major grooves. And uh, these cannot be mismatched, recapped, retread, or regrooved. Okay. Now from this point, we're going to look down behind the tire. We're going to see our uh, brake shield right here. Our brake shield is not cracked, bent, or broken. We're going to look through the peephole to view our brake shoes and lining. Okay, here's our peephole right here. Right there. Our peephole, we can look and see our brake shoes and lining, which are no less than a quarter inch of thickness with no oil nor grease present. Okay, from this point, we're going to check our slack adjuster which sits at a 90 degree angle when the brakes are applied no more than one inch when I pull out on it and it's not cracked, bent or broken and I always threw in, this is up to you, um, all cotter pins are present I'm going to check my um, air brake chamber it's not cracked, bent or broken, all bolts are present I hear no leaks I'm going to check my air brake chamber hose it's not cracked, dry rotted or broken 
all fittings are tight and I hear no leaks. Okay. Now from this point you want to get yourself some type of order. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with the suspension next and then we'll go with our steering linkage. Okay. So with the suspension we're going to check our front and rear leaf spring mount. This is our front leaf spring mount. Our rear leaf spring mount will be back here. Okay. This is our rear leaf spring mount. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, or they're not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. Now, if you look at this part here, right here, this is our shackle. It sits at a 45 degree angle. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and all bolts are present. Now, we're going to go ahead and check our leaf springs. We're going to check all of our leaf springs. They're all in a line, none are missing. If more than a quarter, we're missing it would put the vehicle out of service. We're going to check our U-bolts and anchor plates. Here's our U our U excuse me, our U-bolt and anchor plate. Here's our U-bolt here and our anchor plate here. Okay? Not crack bent or broken. All bolts are present. We're going to check our leaf spring our leaf spring clamp right here. Leaf spring clamps not crack bent or broken. All bolts are present. From this point we can check our shock absorber. Okay. This is our shock absorber. It's yellow piece here. Not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. I see no leaks. Since we're here, let's go ahead and get our frame. Our frame is not cracked, bent, or broken. No illegal holes or welds. Now as for the tractor frame itself, this is the only place you'll have to check it. You will have to check your cross members your rear tractor frame and your uh, rear trailer frame once you get to the back, okay? But this is the last time you actually have to check the tractor frame. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get the steering uh, linkage out of the way. This is my steering shaft, okay? It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Move on down to our universal joint. Our universal joint's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly lubricated with no obstructions. We're going to check our steering gearbox right here. The steering gearbox is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present, and I don't see any leaks. I don't see any leaks. Steering gearbox hoses are not cracked, dry, routed, or broken. My fittings are tight, and I see no leaks. I'm going to check my pitman arm. My pitman arm is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. I'm going to check my drag link, my steering knuckle, right here, my steering arm, right here, and my tie rod that comes across. None of them are cracked, bent, or broken with no obstructions. Okay? It's one thing that I did find out that the examiners like to hear is uh, no obstructions. Now we're going to check for our three castle nut and cotter keys. There's one here on the pitman arm, one on the steering knuckle, right here, one on the steering arm, right here. Let me get the little focus better. There we go. Right here on the steering arm. Okay. Those are our three castle nut and cotter pins, and they're all they're all present. Okay. No, we don't do that. Okay. That's it for our suspension and our steering linkage. Okay. Now we're going to go inside the engine bay. Now there's a couple ways you can go. You can either go from top to bottom or you can go from bottom to top. I've always gone from bottom to top. Okay. My lower radiator hose. The rubber portion is not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. The metal portion is not cracked, bent, or broken. My fittings are tight and I see no leaks. I'm going to check my air intake hose. It's right here. The rubber portion is not cracked or dry, rotted. The metal is not cracked or bent, not cracked, bent, or broken. My fittings are tight. At this point, you can go into your belts. I'm going to check all my belts. None of them are cracked, dry, routed, or broken. No more than an inch when I, or excuse me, no more than a quarter inch when I push in on them for Virginia. 
no more than three quarters of an inch for Maryland or DC. We're going to jump up here to our uh, power steering reservoir. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. I'll check my level. I'll check my level through the dipstick here, and if it's low, I refill here. Okay, all bolts are present. I'm going to check my rubber hoses. They're not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. The fittings are tight, and I don't see any leaks. Okay, now it's important when you're talking about reservoirs that you're going to mention that it's filled to the proper level. If it was low, where you're going to fill it, and that you'll check the level daily. That's that's the most important descriptors when you're checking your uh, power steering. Going to it and saying it's just not cracked, bent, or broken, all bolts are present, it's just not enough detail. So make sure you give the detail that, that they need. Okay, now from this point we're going to go into our air compressor. Our air compressor is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. I don't hear any leaks. Now this is belt driven. I'm going to check the tension on my belt which is no more than a quarter inch of play when I push in the center for VA, three quarters for Maryland or DC, and it's not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. Now you're going to hear a lot of people say gear driven, belt driven. I can assure you with this truck, the examiners are wanting to hear that it's belt driven. Now I'm not going to get into it right now, but the gear driven part I believe comes from the accessory drive that runs down through the uh, air compressor and fuel pump here on the end. Right here. Um, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. But we're not going to get into that right now. Um, okay, so I hear no go ahead and say belt driven. Cuts in at 100 uh, PSI. That, cuts out at 125 PSI. We're gonna check my governor hoses are not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. My fittings are tight, and I don't hear any leaks. Okay, from this point, we're going to go ahead and go up to our coolant reservoir. Now, guys, it's very important you do not.